Well, this is the second one I've got with the uh, Ruger 22 Magnum. This is a 7722 VMBZ. I really like this. It has a 24 inch barrel. I'm shooting Winchester Super X, uh, 40 grain hollow points in it, and it hit that groundhog hard, so you can hear it thump pretty good. But uh, I hit right where I aimed, got him right in the chest. And surprisingly, uh, he tried to run from that. I, I'm amazed that he could even run from that, but groundhogs can be tough sometimes. And uh, I had to crawl for that one. Uh, we spotted him from way up on a ridge, several hundred yards away, and we had to crawl here a pretty good distance. And, but it all came together, so it's been a good evening. Got this one at 86 or 87 yards. I forget which it was I arranged it at. That's a pretty good sized groundhog. Took two shots to get it. Um, I hit it right where I aimed on that last shot. It was shooting downhill, so it may have shot a little bit high. But uh, took it with 22 Magnum, uh, Winchester Super X 40 grain hollow points. I'm up in the Charlottesville, Virginia area today, hunting ground uh, hogs. I'm with a friend up here, Waddell Stewart, was kind enough to invite me up for a, a hunt, and uh, we're going to see if we can get on a few this evening. Um, you hunt these creek bottoms a lot, don't you, Waddell? Yeah, I, that's where I, I see a lot of them around here. Um, it's easy for them to dig into the holes. There's a lot of rocks. Yeah. Easy to make their den. Well, we've we've been up and down this creek bottom already, and, and this place is full of holes. It's just, this bank is just... Full of them. Yeah, we've probably seen a dozen holes just within a yeah, quarter least. mile, half mile. You've got a lot of territory to hunt in too. How many farms you hunt on? Probably got permission on about 10 different pieces of property. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are rather large. Yeah, um, 200 acres or more is a good sized piece of property around here. Yeah. So I feel fortunate to have access to it. Well, and you've got a lot of groundhogs up here too. And uh, you've got probably more than we do back in, in my part of the state. Uh, coyotes are working nine over pretty good back there and uh, we've got a few but we don't have the numbers that we used to did but uh, we're going to give it a go today with rim fire it's going to be a lot of fun and we'll see what the evening brings so come along with us Good shot. I believe that one worked pretty good, don't you? Yeah, I think we, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Another one? Oh, 
All right. Oh, you nailed that one. Well, you did good, you, you flattened one, that last one, and that first one rolled down the hill there, but uh, you nailed him good. Tell us about your rifle and loading every night. Um, well, this is my new Ruger 77, 22 Magnum. I uh, just got it the other day, so this weekend's my first shooting with it. Um, we they went are after really it. nice rifles, uh, 77, 22. Yeah, it, it really feels right. It handles good and action. Built really like smooth. a rifle ought to be built. It's kind of heavy enough, and it, they're really nice. Yeah, I'm liking, it, especially after those two shots. Yeah, that's 22 Magnum. Right, 22 Magnum. And what kind of ammo were you shooting? Uh, today, yesterday I sighted in, tried a couple of different things, and ended up going with the Hornady V Max with yeah. the 30 grain bullet. Okay, Hornady 30 V Max. Right, and that was that was shooting best for me. So that's what we sent downrange today on those two, and it seemed like it did pretty good. On oh them. yeah, boy, it, it stopped nailed. them right in their tracks. Uh, that's great. What kind of scope do you have? Um, this is a a Weaver sort of a smaller scope it's from their rimfire series the third three to nine by 32 yeah that, that's an AO isn't it yeah it has a adjustable objective nine power um, well that's important for a rimfire to, to have the uh, AO or have your parallax set for a rimfire distance because a lot of scopes you know are set for uh, high-powered rifles some of them 100 yards 150 yards and it's stretching things a bit for a rimfire mm -hmm. so that, that's good Well, buddy, how about that? Yeah, that was, that was pretty exciting. Uh, out on a groundhog hunt, and uh, you saw the you saw one, didn't you? The coyote. Yeah. And, and uh, I I never did see it until it came down the hill. Well, there was three of them. And there, there. was three. I first saw that that first one. Yeah. Which was just a big surprise to me, and then the other two showed up right behind it. I know that that's something. That's a that's a big treat just to be out groundhog hunting and see that. Couldn't get on them quick enough. They didn't stay still very long. They went right up to that groundhog hole. They knew it was there and they were just checking out the area just like we were. That's what everyone says. Uh, coyotes are really working on the groundhogs and it's one reason we don't have as many uh, groundhogs anymore. And that was a good uh, example right there. The coyote went right up to the groundhog hole and there's another hole down here we've been watching. But they probably were going to work their way up but they caught wind of us and stooped. And well I used a hurt pup sound uh, that finally lured one. I saw him come up on, on the other side over here on the bank. Right. And uh, I don't think they winded us because I believe the wind was in our favor. I, I don't know what they... But they're just smart. One right? of them definitely spooked. And they ran off and like you said, then you started calling them. And one initially came back on the other side, but yeah. couldn't get a shot at him. Well, that's that's made a nice morning and nothing else just to see him. Let's see if we can get on Groundhog this morning. All right. Again, again. There's that tail gone. Good job. I don't know what was going on. That uh, second shot was a little high. I couldn't tell about the first one. They all look right on, but. Well, you whopped him those last two. Yeah. Uh, did you range him? Uh, 
Yeah, he's right at 75 yards. 75 yards. Well, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it looked like he was getting ready to go back down the hole when you said hit him again. Yeah. So that stopped him. Yeah, good job. I was watching up near that tree, and he came out somewhere on the right. I don't right. know where he came from. He looks like a different one, maybe a little bit smaller than the original one we or, saw. Or could be multiple groundhogs there. Yeah, when we get up there, there's probably a couple of holes. Yeah. You think that's the same one that we saw earlier? Or is it a little smaller? Yeah, I think this one's a little bit smaller. That one we saw from 200 yards away, he looked like a real big one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's small. The one we saw was a lot bigger than that. So there's multiple groundhogs in there probably. holes there and it looks like there's another hole here and that's where this one came from yeah 